Hey, this is Jay Lee. Hope all is well. I just wanted to show you a dually UFO captured by Shelley's early morning expeditions in the San Fernando Valley on January 28th, 2020, around 6.20 a.m. As you can see, these are passing by power lines at a relatively high rate of speed. Especially notice that there's no blinking lights as these traverse the sky. Do you think if these were a plane, they would turn off their lights as they fly over Shelley's house? Of course not. That would be silly. Just recently, John Graff captured a couple of helicopters and a plane at night, which I was able to adjust the exposure and stabilization. This is what it looked like. Helicopters and planes must produce flashing lights when they traverse the sky at night. I think people forget this, but to me, it's a giveaway. You should pay attention, especially if you're calling to them like we do. If there's no strobe, you better start videotaping. Shelly and I both agree that this is a plane mimic. The strobes are anti-collision lights. Anti-collision lights are required for all aircraft at night. It doesn't matter if it's helicopters, small fixed wing aircraft, humongous jet liners, or even jet fighters. I think the only ones that aren't required to have the lights are when they're bearing down on like drug runners and stuff but aircraft lights are required in section 91.209 applies for when you're flying at periods of the sunrise and sunset and operate the aircraft at night. All aircraft must be equipped with anti-collision light system. That's the strobes. There are no exceptions. Most responsible pilots will put on their lights 15 minutes before sunset. I suspect that some pilots could forget, but I believe that most pilots turn their strobes on the second they start flying. The general lighting scheme for marine and air is basically the left hand side is red and the right hand side indicates green. There's also a white light that's in the back of the plane or the helicopter. This allows the other pilots around in the area to find out whether or not you're coming or going. Now that we know a little bit about aviation lights, we'll now notice that there is no strobe lights on these objects. There is no conforming white light on the tails. Lights are very important when it comes to aviation. Now when you watch a pilot on a UFO show, you'll know what they're thinking. There has to be strobes. There's a right side and a left side and a tail side. Both sides should be showing the top side and the bottom side. There should be no mistake. I use Adobe After Effects in order to stabilize, but I use Adobe Premiere in order to change the exposure. And let me show you what I mean. Here's a dark clip of John Graff's capture of the helicopters and plane. And notice that I can change the exposure between the lights. With the plane, you can clearly see that there's fuselage and a tail. I hope you're getting this. What you're watching does not have those qualities. There's no strobes, regular lights, or a tail. This is an indication of imitation. There's nothing between these lights. And now, speaking of the lights, the lights need to be maintained on the plane or helicopter. The lights have to be clean and well-functioning. Let me show you what these type of lights look like. It's just pure brightness. But now let's take a look at what these two orbs look like. As you can see when they're stabilized, you can totally tell that these things are like circular. These are spheres. Look at the shadows. These things are round. These are orbs flying in formation. These, what you see, do not follow any rules. And therefore, these things are orbs. Like it or not, they're not man-made. Congratulations, Shelley. You've opened up a lot of people's eyes. This is just an amazing capture, and I want to thank you for sharing this. Okay, I also wanted to include this follow-up. They showed up again on February 4th, 6.30. If you live in the San Fernando Valley, I'd be looking out the window, I'll tell you. So let's see and hear this thing traversing the sky live. Again, notice the two orbs. There are no strobe lights. There are no other tail lights uh, on the tail. 
Now I'm going to lower the exposure to expose that there is no fuselage. These orbs are flying in tandem and precision flying if you ask me, not from this world. You have to be impressed. Great job, Shelly. And so right after seeing the dually again, another one flies into her view, a very, very low one. I believe that they trust her. And because they trust her, they tune in on her vibe and they'll actually reveal themselves to her eat much more easily. It's freaking incredible. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time.